Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane Elizabeth and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we are actually going to stay quite close to the mat so there will not be any standing postures and there won't be a lot of heat building. However, with that being said, we will be getting a nice deep stretch in. I do recommend making sure that the body stays nice and warm, so either practicing in a warm environment, maybe adding a little heat into your space, or even slipping on a sweatshirt and some sweatpants just to make sure that you keep the muscles nice and warm since we won't be doing a lot of heat building. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet in Child's Pose Balasana, bringing the knees wide to the edges of your mat, toes come together to touch, sinking the hips back towards the heels and then walking the fingertips out towards the front of your mat. Forehead comes in contact with the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose here. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. One more just like that, deep breath in through the nose. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. Beautiful. And slowly begin to walk the hands over towards the left side of the mat. Grounding down into the left palm and then stacking the right palm on top of the left. Breathing here. And then gently walking them back through center. Over towards the right side. Right hand grounds down. Left hand comes on top of the right. Breathing here. Beautiful, and then bringing them back to center, we'll go ahead and slip the right hand underneath the left arm, maybe opening up towards the left a little. And then left hand comes under the right, maybe opening up towards the right. Awesome, you can unwind, rock up to tabletop, knees will come under your hips and wrists under your shoulders. And then you can slowly lower down into puppy pose, just bringing the forehead to the mat. Arms are still elongated out in front of you. Slowly pressing the chest a little closer to the mat. Hips are nice and up in the air here. Breathing into this puppy pose. And if you feel comfortable, like you have a little more space, you can go ahead and move a little deeper, bringing the chest towards the mat and the chin towards the mat. One more breath in here. And an exhale. You can begin to relax all the way onto the belly. Chin stays in center. And your arms can come out to a T. And now keeping the right arm out long on the mat, you can press gently into the left palm, lifting up the left knee, maybe even stepping that left foot over the right. And just breathe here. Getting a nice shoulder stretch. And then as you're ready, slowly release, switching sides, left arm comes out long, gently pressing into the right palm here, lifting the right knee up, maybe even stepping over the left leg here, stretching into the left shoulder, only going to your limit, and breathing here. Awesome, and then slowly release, bringing the chin back to center. You can press up to Sphinx Pose, so resting the belly and the forearms on the mat. Legs can come out wide to the edges of the mat if you like. And just gaze down, gently rolling the neck, so letting the head hang nice and low.
taking your time here. And then keeping your elbows bent, you'll go ahead and come to your fingertips. So you're gonna be pressing up just slightly, but still keeping those elbows nice and bent for a few rolls here. So just lifting the chest and exhale, lowering it towards the mat, inhaling as you lift, exhaling as you lower. Taking a few of these on your own at your own pace. And then as you're ready, take a moment to gently sink into the left shoulder a little bit. So sinking that left shoulder down, pressing into the right fingertips just a little bit more and gazing over towards the right. Just a nice little twist here, breathing into this. And now sinking into the right shoulder, gazing to the left, breathing here. And coming back to center, bring the forearms in front of you. So palms are slightly pointing in towards each other. Lift the right foot up behind you and then press into the left forearm. So sending the, the weight and control into the left forearm, reaching the right hand towards the inner arch of the right foot. So if your foot and your hand do meet, begin to gently press into this right foot. So pressing your foot into your hand and lifting the chest here. So a few breaths here. And then slowly release, the right forearm comes to the mat. And now floating the left foot up behind you, reaching for the left inner arch and pressing the foot into the left hand, lifting the chest here and breathe. Awesome, slowly release. And now maybe you take one more heart opener here, lifting both feet up and reaching for the inner arches in bow pose. Now remember, this is just an option. If your body prefers to rest in a belly down shasana on your mat, you may do that as well. And if you're in bow pose, take one more breath in. And exhale, release it all the way down to the mat, coming into alligator pose. So forearms in front of you and forehead comes to the forearms, breathing here. Relaxing the face and unclenching the teeth. And then when you're ready, go ahead and press up back to child's pose, but this time bringing the arms by your side. So the tops of your hands are resting on the mat, forehead to the mat, allowing the shoulders to roll forward, not holding any tension here in the shoulders, no tension in the face, no tension, tension in the jaw, and removing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Just a few breaths here. And now begin to press up to tabletop and step the right foot in between the hands, coming into a low lunge. Now you want to make sure that your knee is directly above your ankle. You don't want your ankle closer towards your body and your knee going out past your ankle. So make sure those two are in line. And then the right fingertips will stay on the outside of the right leg connected to the mat. Inhale, reaching the left arm up and over towards the right. So breathing here, moving breath into the left side body. And now slowly lowering the left fingertips down and straightening through the right leg. So sinking the hips back into half split here, flexing the toes towards the face. You wanna be sure that you're pulling that left hip back. So you're squaring the hips. And then back to that low lunge. So lifting the left hand towards the right again. And just moving between that and half splits. So back to the half splits. 
and back into low lunge. Taking a few of these on your own breath and at your own time. There's no rush. And then take one more round, meeting back at center in low lunge. And fingertips come back down to the mat, framing the right foot, and bring the right knee back to meet in tabletop. Perfect, and now moving to the left side, so stepping on, t or stepping the left foot in between the hands into a low lunge. The left fingertips stay on the outside of the left leg, connected to the mat, and then inhale, reaching the right arm up and over towards the left. Breathing here, moving breath into the right side body this time. And then slowly lowering the right fingertips down, straightening through the left leg and sinking those hips back into half split, flexing the left toes towards the face. And then back to low lunge. And half splits. Again, taking a few of these on this side now. Utilizing your breath. And really using it to move into those hamstrings, into the hips. Always finding a little more space on each exhale. And then taking one more round and meeting back at center in that low lunge. Fingertips come down to the mat, framing the left foot and bringing the left knee back to the mat in tabletop. Beautiful, then come to standing on your knees. So not on your feet, but coming to standing on your knees, reaching up overhead. And exhale, open towards the right, bringing the right hand either to your right heel or to a block, reaching the left hand towards the back of your space, breathing here, sending the hips forward just a little bit more. And then with control, go ahead and rise back up, reaching the hands back up to center, and inhale, exhale, connecting the left hand here to the left heel or a block reaching the right fingertips to the back of the space. Breathing here. And then awesome with control, make your way back and come to sitting on your heels just for a few breaths. Option to curl your toes underneath you for a toe stretch if you'd like. Or even bringing a bolster underneath um, your bum, in between your bum and your heels, if that's a little bit more comfortable. One more breath here. And exhale, slowly release. We're going to begin to move into frog pose, so getting into those hips. Bring your palms to the mat to add a little bit of control and then begin to spread the knees wide flexing the toes forward so your heels are going to be apart and then using your breath rock into the hips back and forth rather than holding like a stagnant pose here you want to add a little movement use your breath make sure to breathe and if you feel any pinching or electrifying sensations, feel free to move out of this posture immediately. The more you bring your heels in, the less intense this will be. Just always listen to your body. A few more breaths here. You also have the option to come to your forearms as well. And then 
slowly releasing. You're going to bring the toes together to touch and then sit back on your heels, slowly drawing the knees in together here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and shift your weight over to one side, bringing your legs directly out in front of you. They can come together to touch. If you have a block here, you can go ahead and grab it and place it underneath your upper back, just slightly below your shoulder blades. Um, if you don't have a block though, no worries at all. Go ahead and place your forearms by your sides, parallel to the mat. Elbows will be coming under your shoulders and then lift the chest slightly, relaxing the head all the way back, lifting the chin if this is comfortable on your neck. So in fish pose, few breaths here. You can even allow your mouth to be open here. And then as you're ready, slowly make your way back up. And then lower all the way down onto your back. You can lift your knees up here together and then take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Maybe you begin to straighten through the legs here just as far as it feels good for you. Don't worry about straightening through your legs completely unless that is where your body is for right now. And you can even move from here into a happy baby pose. So opening the knees apart, bringing them towards the ribs and then rocking side to side or even straightening through opposite legs, just taking whatever you need and leaving the rest. Remember, this is completely your practice. I am solely guiding you through it, but it is always your practice. And then as we begin, to close this time on our mat, I just want to invite you to take anything more that you may have needed today that maybe we didn't get to touch on. So maybe that could be an additional back bend. Maybe you wanted to move into a split if your hips were feeling open. Maybe plow pose, another inversion or a supine twist. Just want to offer a few moments here for that. And of course, take as much time as you need. But when you are ready, come all the way to your back, making yourself into the tightest little ball that you have all class. So nose comes to either your forehead or your knees, giving yourself a really big hug here and one last sip of air on this inhale. And exhale, release into Shavasana, relaxing all the way out onto your mat. So taking up as much space as possible. Legs come out wide to the edges of your mat. Your arms can either be by your sides, on your belly, or even overhead. Relaxing the face here. Again, keeping space between your teeth. And breathing here. One more breath in through the nose. And an open mouth exhale, release it out.
And then knowing that, friends, you may stay in Shavasana as long as time permits for you. But if you are ready to continue with your evening, with your morning, with the rest of your day, we'll start with a breath in through the nose. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. Beautiful. You can rock onto either side in fetal pose, using your biceps as a pillow. I'm taking a moment to pause here before continuing on to the rest of your day. And as you're ready, you can press up to a seated position. And taking your time here, you can bring your palms together to your forehead as a reminder of positive thinking and how vital it is to your physical well-being. Bringing your palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly, speak love into yourself and into others. Just a reminder of how much your words do have an impact on others and how much they have an impact on what you tell yourself and then bringing your palms to your heart as a reminder that you are loved you were born in love you are not a fluke coincidence you're not a mistake you are carefully crafted and intentionally created you are here on purpose for a purpose one more breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale you can flutter your eyes open god bless friends thank you so much for joining me today i am so thankful for all of you and i hope you enjoyed this class if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below and if you'd like to support my future studio um, and or support me directly uh, my Venmo and Cash App will be on the next screen as well as down below and my GoFundMe link is down below as well. All right. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you for our next class. Bye.